Don't think that today's a great day. October the 23rd, 2009, 527 on the clock, that everything's going to be teachers and green. It's nice to think that way, but it doesn't work that way. They're going to times, Patrick, you left your shoes under the bed again. Or Solange, you burnt the curry goats. Or whatever you did, okay? All of a sudden, the lovey doveyness is going to, oh, yeah, you know, it's great, but it doesn't, it doesn't take care of my appetite, you know what I mean? It's going to happen. Or your mother said, your father said this, and your uncle said that, and here we go, you know? It's going to happen. But the most important thing is, the bottom line is that you love each other, and you're going to work it out. And you're also going to work it out with your Heavenly Father. And when you move to California, we're going to miss you. However, when you move to California, where it's much warmer, and there's no snow, and there's no cold weather, but there's also a beautiful church there as well, in Pasadena, our church there, let it go there. And let it fit you go there too. Because you're going to also find that the same loving brothers and sisters, although they may look different, but we have different cultures in the United States all over, but everybody is loved, and everybody's wanted, and everybody's needed, and everybody's cared for, that they're going to love you there too. And when it fits with Patrick, you bring him along. And if there comes a time when there is a problem, your best friend right here is Yutanga, and he, he, I can see he's a wonderful, right? I can know that. Kathy may be very close to you. But when they get married, guess what? You don't get on the hotline. Kathy, Patrick isn't talking to me. Next thing you know, there's 50,000 people involved. You don't need that. Problem, Patrick, Solange, Solange, Patrick, and then if it doesn't work, you have a third party in this. You know what it is? Pay your vows to the Most High, your Heavenly Father. He'll be happy to help you. Who is that? It's your priest. He prays for you. He loves you. And you know what? He cares for both of you. Well, he's on his side. That's nonsense. The priest is a reconciler. The most important responsibility in the church of a priest is to reconcile people, not to hold a big, long church. So that, that's, that's important, too. But reconciliation, when you keep the families together, it's wonderful. So, I'll praise our heart. Praise our Heavenly Father. Offer thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father. And when you do that, when you make that investment, guess what? When you have a problem, you get on the telephone and you praise and ask, Lord, here I am, I'm Solange, I'm dialing up the heavenly number. I have a problem, would you help me? Of course he's going to help you. You know why? Because you have a relationship with him. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So for me, it's a pleasure to be here in more ways than one. This young lady has a very special place in my heart. You know why? Because she would watch my daughter from us from time to time. And anybody that does that automatically has a special place in our heart. Okay, so automatically when she asked me, would you do absolutely no problem? Because personally, gave me an opportunity to say thank you for that. So, other than that, things are going to happen. But there's three little words that you're going to learn to maybe do that I'm still working on after many, 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 many years of marriage. And then so, give. Give, it, give to her. Where would she need to support her? When she's down, pick her up. The other thing is give in. Now, I don't know if the two of you have the same temperament. He's right, you're right. The women are always right. Remember that, then you have no problem, okay? <laughs> give a lot. Give in. And the other thing is you want to forgive, okay? You know, 18 months ago, you stepped on my toe or you burnt the toast. No, you, want, you know what you want to do? You want to stay in the present. You have a problem, you fix it. But you don't tell him or you don't tell her eight months ago, because guess what? Then you wind up with a three-ring circus, okay? Work in the present. When the Lord says you're forgiven, it says in the Bible, and your sins and iniquities, I will remember them no more. If God doesn't remember them, why are we remembering about each other? And Patrick, women have memories like elephants, I can assure you. That's no big on our girls, okay? But they remember everything, okay? If you promised them something, they remember everything, okay? But don't dwell on the past. The problem, you deal with it, ask your Heavenly Father to help you, and he will also bless you. Okay, so, as I promised you, we wouldn't be here for two and a half hours. So therefore, I'm going to put the time down. Now,
Got a big finger, huh? <laughs> so, what I'd like to do is ask the congregation to stand. Dear Heavenly Father, at this time, we certify the union of man and wife that has already occurred in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we bring husband and wife together for a very, very special occasion. They want their wedding blessing. Many couples go to City Hall, and it's just a rubber stamp on a legal thing. But they wanted more than that. They wanted the blessing of their Heavenly Father. And when you come, when a child comes to its parents and says, Mom, Dad, please bless me. We need your blessing. Please help me. A loving parent would never turn a child away like that. And so a Heavenly Father never turns away his children who come to him and ask, let a blessing upon them. For what? For their joy, their peace, their happiness into the future, that when they have things that they have to work out, that they're able to do it together. Certainly they have friends, certainly they have family, but their best friends are each other. And that's something wonderful and something very, very special. Bless them in the future with health and with strength. And if the time comes that you bless their union with children, let them also be children that are thankful. If mom and dad are thankful, there's an expression that says the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. 